That means that Laras has two or three moves ahead of Canelo and he's gonna be set up for the next shot, which is that deadly uppercut. So what he's gonna do is, instead of going bam, bam, the way he does, you know, charge for it and then come out, uh, Lara does, all right, he's gonna have to do a reverse type of straight, meaning he's gonna jab, jam, pro jab like he normally does, and then eventually throw the straight, but look what I did. I didn't go to him, I went back. What is that gonna do? Just this motion alone, all right, you can't really tell from here if I'm coming to you, all right, I did exactly this, all right. So I went back, but you can't tell from this side. So meaning, if you're facing me, meaning Canelo's facing me, he's not gonna notice that I'm coming to him. I'm going back, so he's gonna try to counter that, just like uh, Mayweather does, which Canelo does, and several other boxers do. Why? Because it's very efficient and it's very uh, um, effective, which is to counter with that lead hand right. All right, which is go slow, go boom, bam. He's gonna try to beat me to my guard, meaning before I bring this guard back, all right, that's what, uh, 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 you know, Mayweather and Canelo does it very well as well. Canelo doesn't do it that often, but he does do it, and Canelo does have a nice, blazingly fast uh, 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 straight as well, the, the, the right, uh, right cross, right straight, all right, um, but he doesn't utilize it that much. It's the same as Lara doesn't utilize his uppercut that much. But anyhow, the point is, is he's going to have to bake Canelo. One, one, two, crunch. All right, come to this side and then a little bit this way. All right, so Cane uh, Lara likes to crunch to the side, just like all southpaws. They like to crunch this way, to slip. It's natural, it's very effective, perfect. All right, so that's what Lara's gonna do. Boom, 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 bam. All right, now here, I can go bam, all right? And Lara has those long reaches, and somehow he can reach very long, very far with that uppercut, and not be off balance, and still get out of danger. All right, so that's what Lara's gonna have to do. Once again, bam, 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 boom. All right, I'm baiting him to counter my jab straight, but I'm not fully throwing that straight. All right, I'm just baiting him to believe that it's coming, bam, boom. All right, now I'm down here, ready to go up with all my legs, bam, hit him, and then get out of the way. All right, now, what well, another thing you can do is up, down combination, all right? Boom, 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 ha, bam. Boom, and then get out, right? And then Lara can do that double uh, step back that he does, and once again, boom, 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 ha, ba, ba, boom. Keep him at bay with his jab, like Lara does. He uses that jab very, very wisely. That's why he wins a lot on points. The Cubans do that a lot. They're very, very quick with their hands, right? Very, very quick with their feet. Um, that's why Rigandau beat, uh, 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 upset it big time, uh, Donito Donner. You know Donito Donner knows how to control the distance very well. Very awkward fighter. Rigandau is the same. Very awkward fighter, but he was able to beat him. All right, on points and stuff like that. Uh, here we go. So, now we're going to drill it a little bit. We're going to show you different angles, uh, so you can see what needs to happen. Uh, Anything special with the footwork? Uh, there's nothing special in the footwork. Just the front one real quick. All right, so when I, when I do the straight, I just need to step over just a little bit because why I'm gonna use this to push up at this angle, all right? When you hit somebody sideways, that way, all this force is gonna go all the way through, all right? So the better I hit, the more it's gonna hurt. If I hit this way straight into the ribs, it's more natural, the ribs can bend that way. The bit, ribs can't really bend this way. It takes so much more shock, and you're literally gonna drop if you get in the hit in the right spot, all right? Um, so that's why you need to step over. If you don't step over, boom, 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 all right? You're gonna go upward, naturally. If you go this way, you're off balance. If you're this way, you're not off balance when you hit that side shot uppercut, boom. And then you're gonna come down with that up-down combination. Simple stuff. All right, so that's only that's basically the only footwork. After that is the uh, evading. Go this way. Um, so, bam, bam, boom, bam, crunch, hit, over, push away. Mule kick out. All right, throw that kick out, drop, and then push away, and then you can double it up. All right, just like that, and go out with that jab. As as loud as. Here we go. Just like that. All right, again. And then keep them at bay with that jab. All right, let's do a front view. All right, side view. Just 
like that, all right? Um, so that's basically what Lala has to do. That's one thing. One thing I'll show you guys. I'll keep doing it from now until the 5, which is Saturday. Today is uh, Tuesday. Um, hopefully, I can get you guys these videos on time. Uh, once again, my name is Jesus Medina. I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California. And today, we demonstrated one thing that Lara can do to maximize his abilities to win this fight against Canelo. Uh, yes, it is possible for Lara to win on points, but I doubt it's going to happen. Even though the judges will favor Lara's uh, style because of the point structure, uh, the way he gets a lot of points and stuff like that. But like I said, I believe that Canelo's going to break down that body enough uh, to not allow that to happen on the point scales. All right, so either way, uh, for both boxers, uh, I don't recommend for either boxer, like any boxer, all right, to leave it to the judges. So, you know, I, there has to be a knockout, and I tell you this much, there will be at least two knockdowns in this fight, if not one for sure, all right. Uh, as far as complete knockout, I doubt that Lara will completely knock out Canelo, but it's very possible for Canelo to completely knock out uh, Lara, all right. Even though Lara's a freaking warrior and he comes back and all that good stuff, um, but I believe uh, uh, Canelo has enough of a sh knockout strategy to truly knock him out, alright? You don't just hit somebody to knock him out. There's a whole freaking science behind it, alright? You gotta knock the air out, knock the air out. You gotta freak of your opponent. You gotta uh, uh, get their adrenaline up in a negative sense of meaning. Get their heart rate up really high by you giving them pressure, overwhelming them, you know, smartly, effectively, without you taking too many shots to slow you, you down. So once you do that, less oxygen in the opponent's body, uh, adrenaline up uh, um, uh, with the heart rate up, all right? If you just clip them with the chin or anywhere in a good spot after hitting them a few times in the body, trust me, they, no matter, I don't care who you are, you're going to go down. Even Mayweather will go down. But the point is, how are you going to get to Mayweather with, with that combination, with, those, uh, with that strategy? It's impossible. He's too fast. Anyhow, the point is, is anybody can get knocked out, and I know Canelo can knock out for sure. Uh, 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 Lara, but that doesn't mean that I think that Canelo's going to win this fight. And again, I'm going to save that prediction towards the end. I will give you a breakdown. Hopefully, I'll finish it by Thursday, uh, post it up by Friday, and then give you my final prediction on Saturday. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm extremely busy. Uh, 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 there's a lot to I want to share with you guys, but it's not needed right now. It's irrelevant. The point is, is you're only limited to your creativity. Pain is temporary. Pride is eternal. Fulfillment lasts forever. So the fight will be worth it, meaning... Fight that fatigue. Uh, fight those inner demons that tell you, oh, take a day out today or, uh, or cut it a little short. Hell no. Just keep blasting through it. The fight will be worth it, all right? The fulfillment will, make, will, will, will keep you living longer, all right? Keep you stronger, stuff like that. K.O. Meta, baby. Knocking out the competition.